Hi, good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming. We are a second semester team called Clarkdale Internet Infrastructure. We'll go ahead and start with introductions. So our team is comprised mainly of our junior students, Zach Smith and Jack Devaney, who are computer science and mechanical engineers, respectively, along with me, a freshman. Uh, I'm, uh, my name is Sai, and I'm a computer systems engineer here at ASU along with uh, our partner, Nicholas Wise, who's a civil engineering sophomore. Um, Rishik is our leader and he is a computer science student, freshman here at ASU as well. So I'll talk about some of our key stakeholders. Our project started off as a joint partnership between ASU Project Cities and the town of Clarkdale. Project Cities is an organization here at ASU that works to connect people in the university with cities across the state to help them fulfill their sustainability goals. They have facilitated our relationship with the town of Clark there and now are primarily working with the team. Our group mainly interacts with Tracy, who's a town manager of Clarkdale. And this semester, we have decided to focus our project on helping Clarkdale maximize its transition back to normality and assess the current broadband infrastructure to make Clarkdale more resilient. So here's a bit of a little background on Clarkdale. So it's located in the northern region, northern central region of Arizona, near Prescott, Sedona, and Cottonwood, a remote area uh, surrounded with mountains and forests. I'd like to point out that it was founded approximately over 100 years ago in 1912. So it's a very historically rich community, and it comprises of uh, a rich history that is reflected in its culture. Uh, Clarkdale has a very prominent historic identity. They were Arizona's first planned community. You can see in these pictures that Clarkdale has been around for quite a while, and that history is a very much an important part of their culture there. But, you, but what they want to do now is bring the town into the 21st century. So that means bringing a new infrastructure to provide reliable internet for the entire town. They already have some existing infrastructure, but it's a very sparse and unreliable at times. So our goals was to provide reliable internet to the town and its residents, specifically their small businesses and students. Now that we're done with the basic introductions, let's get down to the main problem here. So we, went, we spent the first few weeks of the semester working with our community partners to gather new information regarding uh, to identify all the necessary factors and obstacles that we need to address so that the students and residents of Clarkdale can have better internet access. So these following slides will go in detail over all the information that we have found and gathered throughout the process. On a broader scale, the recent events have presented the town with the perfect opportunity to update their internet infrastructure. Along with online school it has become increasingly clear how integral internet is in our lives. We use it for our jobs, networking, school, etc. While there is an internet put in place, they would like to improve it so students and people of Clarkdale can get the internet needed to access real-time streaming and education. So this is how we are going, we're supposing to narrow our scope for the semester. While we would love for our goal to be able to provide internet, for the entirety of the town, this unfortunately is not feasible. We hope to instead help the residents in a more significant way, which we realistically can. So for this, first we seek to ensure that any resident is able to obtain and ensure free access to the internet by inspecting the internet capabilities of the town clubhouse, which will act as a major hub for the residents who cannot otherwise obtain stable internet connections. This is a problem statement we settled on for this semester. Our goal is to discover a reliable and farther reaching internet solution that effectively serves the students and residents of the greater Clarkdale area. So here are some of the current measures that we have worked with Clarkdale to ensure that we can provide temporary stable internet. So as previously mentioned with the COVID-19 pandemic unexpectedly closing down on schools across the country last March, online school became a necessity to keep our children educated. This is one of many highlighted uh, uh, aspects. Of, and one of them is that internet, high speed internet uh, is necessary for individuals of all households. Schools have only opened recently. And although uh, residents have been able to attend classes in person, the necessity of 
increase internet speeds uh, and access for residents is pro still prominent. And the town clubhouse still acts as a major hub for ensuring stable internet connection for residents across the town. After gathering information from our community partner and making a plan, we, sit, we decided that this project can most likely be finished this semester. The remainder of the semester will be broken down into three phases. The first phase being collecting data from the town clubhouse. Phase two is assessing whether the, the bandwidth of the current Wi-Fi can occupy the number of students that will be on the Wi-Fi at once. And phase three is applying for federal funding if needed. So the Wi-Fi at the clubhouse in Clarkdale can be upgraded at no cost to the people. After meeting with our community partners, we discovered that most of the residents of Clarkdale rely upon the internet of the town clubhouse for access. And the building will also be home to numerous large events in the future, making the demands on bandwidth rather large. We would like to gather information on the town clubhouse and the bandwidth latency obtainable there. We hope to, with this information, uh, create an assessment of the approximate bandwidth used by a single user, empirically demonstrate whether or not the town clubhouse can be expected to meet these demands. Streaming video is the most demanding task people will do on their devices and bearing 4K will demand up to 10 megabytes per second, but will typically be near to five. Typical browsing shouldn't be consistently passing three. We still need to gather information on how many people could be using the routers at once after getting all these Clarkdale internet speeds. Um, furthermore, we need to find out what routers are being used so that we can deem them as not being the part of the system being bottlenecked or find out they may be. So assuming that the routers are not the main cause of the bottleneck, any expected average occupancy of over 20 people would in be indicative of a necessity for improved bandwidth. This number is more like 10 if we assume students will be using it with Zoom for the online classes. This is so because it would imply that the eight megabytes per second limit is being induced on the building's outbound connection after the routers meet, that rather than the individual routers. Since we know that both the bandwidth of the current Wi-Fi, uh, the amount of people on the Wi-Fi at once, and the bandwidth usage of the average user, we can begin phase two. We must assess whether the current Wi-Fi can hold the maximum occupancy. If it can't, we must evaluate whether to upgrade the current Wi-Fi or increase the number of routers to ultimately have the bandwidth needed. After assessing the collected data, we will present our data and research to the broadband action team in Clarkdale. We're working in coordination with professional consultants and advisors. Along with this, we will deliver research into federal funds for which Clarkdale may be eligible. This data will also be used by the broadband action team in help for applying to federal funding, which will hopefully be the path toward a long-term solution for Clarkdale. So here are some important grants and loans that we found for phase three. And the first one is called the Reconnect Loan and Grant Program. Um, it can be a grant or either a repayable loan. And the federal agency that's funding it is the US Department of Agriculture. To be eligible, you need internet speeds of up to 25 MB, uh, MBES or slower in 90% of the area where the proposed infrastructure would be built under the city's proposed plan. This means that the city needs to propose a plan along with an application. It is possible to receive up to 25 million in grants and 50, and 50 million in a 2% interest loan. The next grant that we found uh, interesting was the Small Rural School Achievement Program, which was specifically focused on the Clarkdale Jerome School. And the, uh, the funding type is a grant and the funding agency is Department of Education. Uh, the eligibility is uh, K through 12 schools in rural areas, which the Clarkdale Jerome uh, School meets. And this program is intended to be for small scale improvement projects with the amount of funding dependent on the specifics of the project. This includes extending utility lines over short distances and making alterations to existing infrastructure. 
And uh, the next grant that we found to be useful is the improving basic programs operated by local educational agencies. The funding type is a grant. Um, the federal agency or bureau that's uh, funding it is the Department of Education. Um, and this uh, grant uh, provides financial assistance to local educational agency and schools with high numbers or high percentage of children from low income families. Eligibilities are any libraries, K-12 schools, or higher education institutions. And then some research points that we need to continue assessing is the number of people using the internet at once, whether that's in the clubhouse, the school, or in local businesses, how much bandwidth is needed for every person on the internet. Um, we need to continue assessing this, and then how much bandwidth their current internet is producing, and how much federal funding is needed and how to get it. Right now, Clarkdale is in a good area because um, they're slowly moving on from COVID, but these are research points that will continue to resurface and it will be integral for us to continue assessing these if another problem comes up like this recent pandemic. So furthermore, we were able to narrow it down to some potential uh, internet infrastructure solutions to ensure that Clarkdale can move, uh, can Clarkdale can have a stable internet connection and move into the 21st century. So we're considering adding an, an additional radio tower to help increase the total bandwidth for the town. So this not only works in the short term, but also further increases the internet uh, stability uh, with the addition of another radio tower. Research uh, potential ways of improving existing infrastructure and we're gonna be using federal grants to uh, contact cable companies to bring a hardwired connection to the town, which would otherwise be complicated due to the terrain Clarkdale is based in. And then we're, be, we're looking into the Starlink program by, uh, started by Elon Musk, which I'll talk about in the further slides. Now we're gonna speak about why wireline technology is not the way to go so many local communities that cannot get access to funding for copper only or fiber infrastructure, uh, mostly because they cannot meet the minimum high performance speed of 25 Mbps set by the Federal Communications Commission. So this also means that many rural development funds are prioritized with helping higher performance speed tiers. Another reason for avoiding wireline technology is it costs thousands of dollars to implement and usually cannot deliver the necessary bandwidth at a cost and deployment speed that meets your company's current business environment. So now we can look deeper into uh, the Starlink mission undertaken by a subsidiary of SpaceX, which was started by Elon Musk. So based off of the internet results that we got in slide 13, we might want to consider looking towards updating to a more reliable and modern broadband connectivity infrastructure. So another reason being the fact that the signal is being beamed from a community development building approximately 75 yards away. And I believe that SpaceX Starlink mission can fit into that category because the potential for its improvement is massive. So firstly, the satellites are located in the LEO, also known as the Low Earth Orbit. So compared to other satellite connections, it's approximately 60 times closer to the Earth than other satellite services. And secondly, the, uh, these satellites are placed in orbit using reusable rockets under the SpaceX flag. So over a month ago, the Falcon 9 rocket delivered approximately 60 rockets into space, considerably improving broadband connectivity and latency for ones already involved in the program. Moving on, I was able to contact uh, the administration of Starlink and get some key information, initial setup costs and the uh, varying speeds and the latency. So I was able to confirm from the official website and from an email that uh, users can expect to get speeds around 50 to 150 Mbps with a uh, latency varying from 20 to 40 milliseconds. So the coverage latency and broadband connectivity 
as they mentioned, we're expected to get better as they start to roll out more satellites and install more ground stations to improve their networking software. So I later reached out to them about the availability of the program in the Clarkdale region. And they replied back saying that it's expected to be a fully kickstarting its Clarkdale operations in around mid to late 2021. So regarding the cost details, so the initial setup for the hardware uh, uh, hardware infrastructure costs around $499. This is a one-time fee. And further services, uh, which are not inclusive of taxes, cost around $99 every month. This is our next steps timeline. Uh, we've already completed the data collection, which we did in January and March. We completed the broadband assessment using the OCLA platform in February and March. And then in March and April, we looked at potential uh, broadband impl implementations that Clark Dove can do in the future. And Sai has already talked about his uh, Starlink mission. And uh, in March and April, we plan on applying for federal and state grants, which we continue to research and look into. And then we plan on finishing off this semester with the design document. Uh, thank you for listening to our presentation. Is there any questions that you have for us or any part of the mission uh, to help the children and businesses of the town of Clarkville?